Hey guys, gals, and legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Elliot's Tale. Welcome to Shade Hill. Welcome back to Shade Hill. It is a dark and rainy night, and Elliot has been, well, he's been just kind of looting through these houses. Uh, we haven't had too much trouble so far. We haven't had too many runs with the undead, other than the ones in the basement that uh, killed our poor friend, who is now part of us in a strange way. Elliot has, uh, managed to continue poor Jared's life. Yeah. <laughs> we'll leave that. <laughs> we'll leave that where it is. Now, I'm just making sure that I actually have nothing else on us at the moment. And it doesn't look like we do anything that I actually want to get rid of for the time being. We probably don't need that many batteries. Um, and saying that, I could probably use some of those batteries in the electro hack. So if I go and grab said electro hack. Um, I just realized we've got an electric lantern as well, which has got a whole heap of them, and an electric hair trimmer as well. Uh, which uh, I'm sure we'll use in time. Same thing with the shaving kit. Uh, we'll, we'll make sure that we <laughs> make good use of that. Um, okay, right, what do we got, what do we got? I just sorry, we had a stethoscope as well, which uh, can be useful. Um, did I not put it in there, or did I put it somewhere else? Oh dear, this is the part where Rykon can't remember where he has put stuff. What a surprise, what a surprise. We are looking for the electro hack. Starts with E, and it's not there. Did I put it in with the weapons? I know I've put it somewhere. Electro hack. No, 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 no. And, uh, okay, let's just go search all. And it'll be under tools and electro hack there. I don't know where it is, but uh, we're gonna grab it all the same because uh, it doesn't actually it doesn't actually weigh too much, and I think it'll be a useful f tool for us to be able to hold on to. Uh, means that we can get through doors uh, without having to use cards. Um, I guess the the negative of that is that I guess there's a chance of it um, failing. We reload the electro hack. How much does it take at any one time? A uh, hundred. Okay, cool. That's completely acceptable um, okay cool I'm, uh, I'm I'm good with everything that we've got we've got some meat with us at the moment um, we're currently just wielding our umbrella as we walk through this dark rainy night and I'm gonna want to try and make my way down towards I think probably this house first then see maybe what's going on with the park and uh, from there maybe try and make our way to that gun store but we're gonna be taking it a little bit slow just moving through nice and easy making sure that we don't stumble upon anything more importantly what we're doing is we're kind of trying to look out for exclamation marks which are going to indicate sound that's around us at night um, okay it does lack wheels it has diesel in it though it's a school bus interesting yeah we're going to pass it on by though um, and this house we have been in yes just recently this was our gun basement house I believe and we pretty much cleared that out actually I want to be certain that we cleared it out um, now I'm pretty sure that we did but I just want to be absolutely sure that we did okay let's um let's fire this up real quick yeah no we, we definitely did there's still a Remington there um, but we left it there because we already had one um, you know better to be safe than sorry I think it's good that we checked uh, and saying that I said I was going to check last time, but I didn't, was seeing if this had any kind of ability to pry. And I don't think it does. Because it is such a large knife, I thought that it might be able to. Yeah. Can we activate it? Yeah, I already tried to activate it, didn't I? I guess the compass is kind of useful. I guess we can tell which way we're going, although, like, that's obviously going to be north, that's obviously going to be south, like, yeah. I, I don't know if it's much help at all. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not so sure. Uh, we're going to walk down until we hit the road, which I think that, yeah, that is the road. It is a little hard to see at night because, um, obviously just not being able to see properly. Uh, we've got a tie clip, some pants. What this means is that something's died here and it's gotten back up two children by the looks of things uh, which kind of goes hand in hand with the park makes sense um, did I kill these I don't remember killing those 
And the thing is, you know what? They're not pulped. They're not pulped, and they've gotten up from being over there. Hmm. Uh, let's see. It's 2.20 at the moment. Can we afford to... We see the fat zombie approaching. Stop butchering. Yes. Oh, hello. He just rose back up. So maybe it would have been better in this scenario to just go ahead and smash the corpses. Because he just uh, he totally came back to life. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to start running. Yes, running is what we're going to do. And we're going to run away from said zombie. Because you know what? The good thing is that... We're Elliot Wood, and we have Night Sight, and they don't. Uh, and I'm actually wanted to check this car. It's got decent um, battery. And there is something in the back here, which I probably just want to quickly have a look and see what it is. A uh, scissor jack and a 17-inch wheel. The jack could be handy. I don't know if we have a jack yet or not. I feel like we have a bottle jack. I think we do. But I'm not 100%. Uh... Either way, it's not going to concern me too much. Um, so essentially, I'm just going to want to try and find my way down towards this house. And really, we should be able to do it without them seeing us. This is the great thing about us having this night sight. Now, I'm going to want to try and find a door. Because prying one of these open, I'm not super keen on. It looks like the door is probably going to be guarded by that zombie, though. As far as we can see, we can't see any inside, which is kind of good. So I think what we're going to do is just come around the back here and probably try and pry open this. So let's go use our crowbar, which is E, and look at that. We heard a crunch from the north. Okay, so that means that someone's probably smashed their way inside. Okay, we've got a bottle of gin. We've got under the hood, which we have actually been reading. Uh, do we want the gin? We'll, we'll take the gin if we can. We will drop it if uh, things look like we need to. And it sounds like one's actually in here. Uh, knit scarf would be handy to have, but um, I don't think we need it just yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wield our crossbow. Going to put the umbrella away. You see that we are completely dry, which is awesome. Uh, we have a bolt in there. What we're going to do is we're going to open the door. And there isn't one there. Huh, I totally expected one to be standing right through the door then, but uh, they're not, so that's cool. We'll take our orange soda and we'll move along. Uh, we've got a holy symbol, a sewing kit. Uh, let's see if we can just unload that sewing kit. Yes, we can. Perfect. We'll take the thread. That saves so much time rather than just picking things up, taking it out, dropping it on the ground again. Um, I think we're going to take the holy symbol just for the hell of it. Um, I don't think Elliot is a religious man. Uh, actually, I don't know. I, I don't know. But uh, he's going to go ahead and he's going to wear that. Um, yeah. Yeah, he is. He is. Uh, now, are we, we wearing any sunglasses at the moment? Let's see. If we have a look at eyes, pair of fit over sunglasses. Perfect. Uh, so it does sound like someone is inside. So we will be watching out for them. There's a bifocal. See what we've got in the bathroom here. We'll take those caffeine pills, definitely. Dust mask, and it looks like, uh, yeah, ammonia. I was thinking it's probably bleach, but yeah, there we go. A lot of whomping going on inside. Hello, it's a zombie cop. Okay, and he tried to grab us. So what we're going to do is just take a quick shot. It actually did a pretty decent shot as well. We'll see if I can um, get away from him in time. He actually did manage to whack us. We can close that, which is great. We're going to go ahead and reload this, open it up, I'm going to wait for him to actually, so we're going to start shooting at him, but we're going to wait for him to come around the corner here. There we go, just like so. Okay, pretty decent, and he did grab us, but uh, we managed to finish him off with a quick strike to the head, which I'm very, very happy about. So let's go ahead, we're going to activate our... Now, let's see, I don't actually have our quiver under anything, so I'm probably going to put it under Q, because that makes sense, right? Large quiver, Q. So if we go activate Q, and we're going to go store ammo, store those two. So we just pick them up off the ground and drop them straight in there, which is good. Um, okay, so what did the zombie cop have for us? Uh, not a hell of a lot, really. Not a hell of a lot. Okay, alright. I'm interested to see how long it's going to take us to butcher him. So, it's 2.53 at the moment. Uh, 
Okay, so it, it does take a little while to do, and so what we'll do is next we'll just smash, and we'll just see what the kind of difference is. Um, yeah, see what the difference is between them there. We'll take the cash card, why not? Okay, let's keep moving throughout the house. Okay, I'm going to want to try and come up here and close these as quick as possible. Just, yeah, isolates us from the outside. Uh, okay, cool, it's an Italian cookbook. And chuck of ammonia. Wow, decent amount of smashing going on around us now. Um, let's see what we can get food-wise. Cat food, a mop, and fast noodles. Yeah, I don't think we want either of those. Close that up. And we have a towel. I think we already have a towel. I hope it's dried off by now. Let's keep moving throughout the house. A few things in the room here. Uh, what we can probably do is just hit V and have a look. Uh, so we've got sneakers, leather sandal, can of beer we'll take. Why not? Take some beer. Uh, we'll go ahead and close those. Cool. Okay, so we're moving through the house and uh, we do have a basement. I think that's probably where the majority of the noise is coming from. So uh, we'll have to watch ourselves. So what we're going to do is first we're going to eat some more of uh, our good friend Jared. And he's going to power us through. He's going to give us the cooler jewels necessary to move through this basement. I'm half tempted to do a quick flash. Okay, there we go. What have we got? Decayed zombie. Okay. So um, we should be able to take care of him pretty easily. What we're going to do is we're going to come over here. I'm going to take a shot from further away. I'm just going to wait until we're at 100% steadiness. Nice and steady. And wow, he got really close then. Uh, but that was actually a really quite a decent shot. Then we'll let him come over at the over the table at us. And we'll actually take a swing at him. Jump around this side. There we go. That's how we do. And let's go ahead, activate the quiver. And just go ahead and store that back in there. Let's see, hiking boots, nano skirt, no. So let's go ahead and just smash this one. So it's 318 currently. Okay, so it's much, 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 much faster just to bash them to pieces. Uh, but we need to be careful because doing that can actually damage our crossbow. So um, something for us to keep in mind. Now there probably is gonna be a decent amount of alcohol down here and not a hell of a lot else. Um, Okay, actually we have some sports drinks. Hey, nice. We actually we actually have some. It looks like we have a, yeah, a wooden barrel of single malt whiskey. Holy shit. Well, that's something. Um, don't mind me, I'm just going to have a nice sip of peppermint tea out of Buzz Lightyear's head. There's nothing unusual or strange about that at all. <laughs> um, yeah, this would be great. Uh, it can hold a capacity of 100 liters, which is awesome, but it weighs 134 kgs, so yeah, no, we're not strong enough to carry that. Uh, we might be for like a few moves, but then we're probably just going to break ourselves, so not so good. Um, it, it, it's quite enjoyable, from what I can tell here. Um, we could get hyped up on malt whiskey and it looks like we've had some wine that's just gone ahead and smashed here but uh we will grab we'll grab some some of the other bits and pieces there there are actually there's a bit there, let me try that again there is a bit of quench to them which is good um yeah i you know what we're actually gonna, we're gonna take a decent amount of this alcohol with us because we're not too again we're not too far away from the the car so it's not so far for us to go back check the bathroom real quick no, just a bathroom. And saying that, let's grab some water while we're here, if we can put it into anything. So let's go pour into container, and we'll just put it in the hip flask for now. Let's get some good old toilet water in there with the rest of the essence that we've been keeping in there. Slowly collecting. I'm hoping to find a book where we will be able to learn what to do with some of that stuff. Now, we were hearing smashing glass in the rest before, and we aren't really seeing any evidence of that. Um, I'm, you know what, I just want to take care of this zombie. I reckon we can. He's uninjured. I reckon we can do it. There we go. Just a good old fashioned bash. Now, those bolts, yeah, the bolts don't go back into my 
quiver, which is the only, only unfortunate thing. But I guess we can do that for a while and then just store them all in, which should be fine. Go ahead, smash the corpse. And that zombie child corpse has probably come to life. And hello, moldy vitamins. Don't mind if I do. Candy cigarettes, no. Hello, fat zombie. Yeah, no, we, 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 we don't need to worry about him. We will reload that really quick. And because it isn't too far, we are just going to have a quick sprint back to the car. And moving at night like this, this kind of quickly, is a bit dangerous. Um, but I think we're okay. I think we're okay to do so. And I can't actually see my car up there on the map because we have left the dome light on. Which is kind of a little handy. Because we, we can just very easily find our way back to it. Which um, I'm a fan of. Okay, so that's going to go in our food pile, which is just at the back here. Drop it to the side. And drop pretty much all of that stuff. Except for the clean water. Boom. Whole heap of stuff there. Okay, did I pick up anything else in particular that I want to drop in there? Not really. I mean, the thread and stuff, yeah, possibly. So let's just go ahead and drop the thread over here. It's not going to weigh me down very much, but better to be safe and uh, it is drizzling so I should look at wielding our umbrella if we can which is just on K so we'll just store that in the inventory we are wet uh, which is a little unfortunate I should have realized that before we came outside but oh well um, the park we probably aren't gonna check the park out at night um, oh, I can actually see that we do have the we have his he's got his little holy symbol out uh, interesting <laughs> Okay, how's this? It's solar car. Yeah, it's not doing very well. It's pretty bad at that. Actually, yeah, it's got enough wheels in the rest. Solar panels are pretty much wrecked though. They wouldn't be working very well. And you know what? I just find a gas car more reliable now. Um, yeah. Won't stay that way forever, but you know. I think just for the moment it's going to be better for us to do that. And again, we have another we have another zombie that's come back to life. This revived from this position. So someone has been doing killing around here. I don't know if it was Jared earlier on or not, but um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to quickly check out these houses here. I'm going to go ahead over here, mark that one as explored. Just shifty. So let's go ahead and hello. Okay, alright, let's um, go ahead, wield our crossbow. It's going to take a few turns to do that. There he is. Okay, so let's just um, wait until he gets in the door frame. Headshot, 69 damage. <laughs> of course. Of course it was. Of course it was. Wow, that's been a little while coming, hasn't it? There we go, we finished him off. Okay, that's better. Alright. Um, head inside, smash it real quick. And we will reload. And did we actually lose that bolt then? I feel like we did lose it. Shit. Damn it. I must have broke when it went in the head. Which is... Uh, oh, yes, there's a funnel. I am very happy to see that. And someone is really raging. This is on... We've got two funnels. Funnels for our funnels. Jeez. Interesting that we can see that because it's so desaturated. We'll take the heat pack, and uh, I'm actually going to take another funnel, because we can set up more than one. And that's going to collect, um, it's going to collect rainwater for us. Okay, uh, you know what, we're going to do the same kind of thing here. We're just going to go in the center of the room and just see what we've got. Pocket watch. Uh, we will take the grape drink and the root beer. Take both of those. And we do have something else up here. Quickly go check it out. Bike helmet. No, we don't need the bike helmet. We can live without it. But we'll take the other grape drink. Don't need to worry about the curtains right now. There's definitely a zombie quite close. Because he's making a lot of noise. Sounds like he's eating something. Um, what have we got in here? We do have a basement. So that's maybe what we were hearing. Uh, oxygen tank. You know what? Let's just take a hit of the oxygen tank. This is what we used to do back in... Uh, uh, oh, can can I not? Ah, oh, activate. Ah, oh, I need to activate it. Activate. Uh, where is it? Should be under drugs. No. Tools. Oxygen tank. There we go. 
Alright. Alright. That's a pretty decent hit from that. Yeah, it's what we used to do in the prison. So it's got him a little bit more hyped up before he goes into battle down here. And it looks like we have a drug basement. Uh, so it looks like they were growing some, some weed down here. And what have we got? We've got a fat zombie and we've got a sewer rat. And I think that's about it. Yeah. So let's uh, let's go ahead. We're going to turn the flashlight back off. And I'm just going to see if I can hear if he's going to kill that sewer rat or not. I think he probably is. So while he is um, while he's attacking that sewer rat, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to get a nice steady shot on him. Just going to wait till it goes right up. Nice and high. Perfect. And I thought it hit the sewer rat somehow. Uh, 38 damage, that's pretty good. So we're going to come over here, reload. Uh, try and reload again. Alright, and we're hearing some whacking going on elsewhere. Moderately injured. Come on, buddy. There we go. Again, pretty decent. And this will actually be helping improve our range as well. So we only have one bolt left, so kind of need to make it count. Alright. Severely injured, so we'll be able to bash him, worst case scenario. Uh, but we don't even need to. Uh, the sewer rat, however, is going to come for us. And... <sighs> damn it. This thing is going to be pretty much near impossible for us to hit with our kind of current torso encumberment. Uh, and our crossbow is actually damaged, uh, so I need to watch out for that. I'm going to take the survival knife out, because it should be a little bit quick. Oh, you fucking dick. <laughs> Come on, this is ridiculous. Just one hit. Just one hit. Come on, Elliot. I know it's a tiny thing. I, maybe it's because it's dark as well. Come on. Come on, this is ridiculous. Okay, it actually hurt our leg then. Apologies for all the loud noises here. <laughs> We are getting, we're, we're very tired, so we're going to come upstairs now, and uh, we're just going to rest. We're going to rest because we can, and I'm going to take another sip of tea. And then we're going to go down and try and finish this son of a bitch off. Um, obviously, yeah, melee is definitely not our forte, especially when we are, um, yeah, when we're so encumbered on our torso. I want to see if there's anything I can do about that. I'm I'm disappointed that we lost our cargo pants. That's freaking annoying. I mean, our compression shorts and our cargo shorts are about to rip as well. So, yeah, not great. I do actually need to try and uh, do some sewing, some proper sewing. And uh, I think that's probably what we're going to do next episode. But for now, we want to go back down there. We want to finish this son of a bitch off. So, I'm going to have a look at my torso real quick. It's, it's really, it's probably, a lot of it comes down to the, yeah, 15. This is what is encumbering us the most, the MBR vest. So I think for now we're just going to drop it on the ground. It is what protects us the most as well, uh, but that's going to get us down to 30, which I hope is kind of an acceptable number. And it looks like the sewer rat's actually gone away, weirdly enough. So let's go ahead, we're going to smash that corpse real quick, grab those bolts back. We might not need to worry about this. Uh, we're going to take those cotton balls as well. Hello, yes we are going to need to worry about it. Um, but kind of the good thing is that we are blocking with our, our knife. So this is actually helping train us in a weird weird way okay except if he keeps on hitting us that's not going to be so good come on it's just a sewer rat bro nope apparently it's a super rat that we just cannot hit we cannot hit no matter what yeah so we do need to try and come up with a solution a melee solution uh, as a backup fallback for uh for elliot I guess that's the thing is because like when it's come to melee for us really what we've been wanting to do is because we're quick as well is run quite often and that's why things like this vest and, and the rest have been so useful so I think you know I think that's what we're going to do we're going to come back into here we're just going to put this back under like so and we're going to go back in there and what well, we can probably actually get away with just wielding the crossbow now actually Let's um, activate our quiver real quick. Store that ammunition in there. 
and reload the crossbow. Only got three bolts left now, so we do need to look at trying to fix that sooner rather than later. Okay. And we're hungry, so I am going to go ahead and have our last bit of Jared that we have. Let's go ahead and use this oxygen tank real quick. Get another hit before we go down there to try and take on this dastardly rat. Okay, there we go. Our intelligence and our perception is higher, and it is right on top of us. To the point where I don't know if we can actually take a shot at it. I think maybe we can. Oh yeah, there we go. Freaking wrecked. Wrecked! Uh, you know, it will take that chunk of meat as well, why not? Okay, right now we have the basement to ourselves. Let's give it another quick flash. It looks like there was something else down here as well. Uh, we pulped that one, that's okay. Maybe another rat? Yeah, another rat. Uh, so let's actually go and butcher that real quick. And it sounds like someone might actually be up there. Raw offal. Interesting, we might actually be able to do something with that offal. Uh, so let's come over here. We are going to we are going to take them because um, it's definitely good pain relief for us. And we're going to take the pipe as well. Okay. All right, and we will take any of the uh, the raw stuff that we can. It sounds like someone has actually smashed into here. No, not here. Perhaps upstairs then. Okay, we'll take the seeds. Okay. Keep thinking that someone else is down here with us, but it is just noises up above us that we are hearing. Okay, so that's a decent supply. Um, so let's actually head up, and I want to see what's kind of going on in the home. Yes, yeah, someone smashed that down. That wasn't me. And it's sun... It's it, Oh, hello, hello. Okay, we'll see if we can take care of that real quick. And we do have a zombie outside as well. Uh, so the sun actually has risen, so it means that Elliot will probably be going to sleep sooner rather than later. Bam, nice and easy. Well done, Elliot. And we'll see if we can find that other zombie as well. But we'll just go ahead and smash real quick. Again, I just want to check the crossbow. Actually, no, the crossbow is okay. I thought it was damaged before, but it's uh, but it's not. Uh, we have actually checked this room as well, haven't we? Yeah, it's the pocket watch room. Okay, I, th I think we're okay. I think this is probably a safe place for us to end it as well. So I think that's what we're going to do. Now, I think in the next episode, I'm probably going to try and take some of the bits and pieces that were found in the house, and we're going to try and create some socks. Crazy, I know. But what that's going to do is allow us to practice our sewing, get our tailoring skill up a little bit higher, and then we might actually be able to fix some of our gear because we really need to because it's falling apart at the seams at the moment. It's not very good. Elliot needs to do some home care. Alrighty, well, I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.